<clears throat> Hi guys, um, today I'm filming in the car. <laughs> It's nice to see you again. I'm a little late with my video, I'm sorry. It was just super crazy this week. I know it's not really a good excuse, but it is how it is. I was working a lot and yeah. So I'm just getting into it now because at the moment I'm following my mommy jobs. <laughs> I'm waiting outside the basketball court because my little son is at his basketball training. So I have some time. And I thought I'd use it wisely and talk to you guys. <laughs> the last week, I did the meat and fat fast and it worked out well. It worked out really, really well. Again, I lost about two and a half kilos. I'm not 100% sure how much it was, but it was about two and a half kilos. I don't have any problems with the meat and fat fast. I always feel amazing. I slide into deep ketosis very quickly i just love it it's it's so great you know because it's super easy you eat a steak or you eat some ground beef or you eat some i don't know some kind of meat um for breakfast you eat eggs and bacon or eggs and sausages or something like that so it's super simple full all day you you're happy you're i don't know your brain functions well so it's it's really really cool and then on saturday Okay, we don't want to talk to you, Siri. Psh. Then the weekend. On Sunday, it was my son's birthday, my big son's birthday. He turned 16. Oh my gosh. It's so crazy to have a 16 year old son now. I mean, he always was big, and you know, I did recognize that he grew and stuff, but to say he's 16 is, is just so weird. Anyway, um, his birthday was more like a birthday weekend <laughs> and I felt like celebrating myself as well that, you know, I kept him alive for 16 years <laughs> and I kept myself alive. You know, not going completely crazy with a 16 year old. For all the mums out there, I guess you know what I'm talking about. For all the not mums, you will get there maybe someday. <laughs> I made him a cake, which I, ha, oh, I loved it so much. It's such a great cake. I will show you here somewhere. <laughs> it did go a little overboard. And uh, for everyone who does not know, I'm a cake designer. So yeah, you know, that's what I do. And because it was his 16th birthday, I went totally nuts. I made him a cake. I made him cookies. I made him cupcakes, cake pops, everything. But it was so, and I worked a lot. I stayed in the shop one night till i don't know i think 10 30 or something just to make it perfect to make it right and i know that's crazy but wow that's me that's the type a person i i am sometimes i think anyway <laughs> that's a little uh off the point here so then we celebrated his birthday weekend uh on saturday we went to a theme park which was super cool with roller coasters and everything unfortunately it was so full looks like there was no covid there they packed the the park like crazy and we had to wait in front of the roller coasters forever which was super annoying but i think the boys still had a lot of fun so that was good then i i did do the food for that day just to make sure that it doesn't cost me a fortune so we took drinks we took food i did do some meatballs with some coconut flour like keto meatballs which was great and stuff and i had so much food at home like snacks and bars and sweets and everything everything keto and i packed for the for the boys of course normal snacks and normal chips and whatnot i packed food for everyone except for me i mean honestly how stupid can you be oh and i have it all at home when i think about it i had so many options at home and i totally forgot so i was nibbling on nuts and meatballs all day <laughs> At night time, we, uh, we went to a special event, which was like a Greek night. Food was nice. The drinks were, we stay for like, you know, one drink and for food. And then we left and had some nice wine at our, at my house. <sighs> I think it was far too much wine because I, you know, 
skyrocketed with my weight again. And then on Sunday, my son's actual birthday, and we had people over for um cake like for you know afternoon and i made a keto cake as well so that i could have some cake um which was nice and of course i also had the normal cake but i didn't eat that one i didn't eat much except from the keto cake there i had like i think two pieces or something and then at night time we ordered pizza because I didn't want it to stay in the kitchen all day. I just wanted to have it as easy as possible. But I prepared a pizza dough for myself in the morning already so that I could have a keto pizza, you know, when the others have the ordered pizza. I called to order the pizza and then I should have put my pizza in the oven. But I forgot. End of story was that I ate the normal pizza. And looking back at the last few videos, I must say pizza is a real problem here. <laughs> It's the third time now that I had regular pizza since I stopped 75 hard. I did try the Pizza Hut pizza, which wasn't as nice, so I just had one bite of it. Then I went to Hamburg with my son and we had like the huge Italian style pizza, which was great, by the way. And now on my other son's birthday, we ordered takeout pizza and it was really good pizza, I have to say. So I just ate, I think I ate about four slices yeah so after the weekend of course my weight you know was up to 98 again 98 i don't know one or two or something so i could have started like the medium fat fast again or started the egg fast again or anything like that but i felt like i don't want to do this you know i want to have like a normal relationship with food because i feel like if i eat only like egg fast meat fast whatever during week and then you know totally go nuts on the weekends that's not really working it doesn't feel really healthy as well and i definitely want to get a better relationship with food that's definitely my goal to have a healthy relationship with food because let's face it i was 117.7 kilos and nobody with that weight has a healthy relationship with food you always have some sort of food problem addiction whatever you want to call it and i am a sugar addict let's face it i am and you know I, I love food and it's great to say I love food and I love eating but let's face it I have a problem you know I, I me and food we don't have the best relationship all the time so I thought I will eat like keto during week now and that's what I did I did eat except for one meal only keto very clean keto you know made everything myself and stuff the one meal I had that wasn't keto was because my mom and I we went to Holland to go shopping for the shop like you know get some inventory they didn't have any keto stuff i could have had a salad yes but i saw that just later that they also have salad so i had fries and they were loaded with pulled pork and some salad and and stuff like that so the, i guess the sauce wasn't right and of course the fries as well i'm sure i could have asked for only the meat and the salad and stuff and you know to say there was nothing that I could have is like a bad excuse. But, you know, it is how it is. So I did weigh myself now the last couple of days. And slowly but surely, I am going down. I'm not 100% sure, but I think this morning I was at, I don't know, 97.5 or something. So it very slowly goes back down. And if I would do more, you know, it would go much faster. But it is how it is. And I want to do it right you know i don't want to lose two kilo gain two kilo lose two kilo gain two kilo lose three kilo gain three kilo you know that that just doesn't feel right it was nice for the last couple of weeks to just chill a bit and you know be a little loosey-goosey with eating and drinking on the weekends but it has to stop again i do want to have some more progress and that's why i just have it this just has to change but it, how i said i would like to have a healthy relationship with food and i want to be able to enjoy myself with 
healthy food so i incorporated a bit more veggies again which is which is nice because it, i just like veggies i try to get back in intermittent fasting so that i eat two meals a day and not three because that always is bad because if i eat three meals then you know my calories are like a lot <laughs> but yeah then another thing alcohol i mean it's nice to have a drink but it's obviously not really good for weight loss especially red wine is my choice of drink and red wine is not working for me with weight loss i feel that when i drink red wine i drink maybe two or three glasses instead of only one and that just is too many calories and you know it just stops the fat burn so i don't want to do that on my son's birthday i had two tequila shots for the rest i only had diet coke and water and it worked out very well even though my family was drinking wine and beer and stuff so it shows me that i don't have to like social drink which is a thing to go somewhere or to see people and feel like you have to drink or you you know you want to drink because you're with someone but it's it works the same if you drink water or coke or i don't know whatever your type of drink is you know non-alcoholic <laughs> so yeah that was nice to see to know to do whatever i don't have to drink you know and the party still can go on last but not least gym time or any other workout time was very limited as well this week unfortunately i did move my ass to the gym yesterday after i think eight or nine days <sighs> it was hard so it was super hard i was just sweating like crazy it was annoying to feel exhausted after like 15 minutes on the treadmill or something so i definitely have to get my ass to the gym more often i want to go swimming <sighs> i want to do a lot <laughs> and i don't <laughs> i want to go back because I, I know myself and I feel so much better. I'm not as tired. I'm not exhausted in, in general. Um, I feel so much better when I do go to the gym. Anyway, this is my update. <laughs> I hope you stay with me even though I didn't lose much weight yet or in the last you know week or couple of weeks. I don't want to be annoyed by it too much because then I will lose faith or then i will lose the will to lose the weight i just want to you know be healthy and i feel so much better already now that i lost the 20 kilos and if i don't get over 100 you know i'm happy i just want to stay under 100 kilos that is my absolute goal for now and um of course i want to lose more weight i want to lose the fat i want to you know get really really healthy but for right now i am happy where i am and i think if i make myself crazy i will just lose the momentum and i will you know start binging again and i will end up where i started and i definitely don't want to do that let's see what the next week brings and hope that i lose more weight <laughs> i just don't want to make myself crazy if it takes another month or another six months or you know then it is how it is if it takes a little longer it takes a little longer you know it didn't take take me a few months to gain that much weight i did gain weight over years and i was at a super high level for many many years so i can't expect my body to be like okay let's lose 45 kilos and here we go you know that that's not happening it will take a while and if it takes a little while longer then that's fine with me i am who i am and my body is what it is and i have to you know be nice to it. That was enough mumbling and bumbling talking. I hope you have a wonderful week. I hope to see you soon. Check out my Instagram. You know, there I'm very active. You can see what I eat, what I do if I go to the gym. For the rest, you know, please like and subscribe. Leave me a comment. It would be so nice. I love to chat with you guys and stay healthy, stay positive. See you soon, guys. Bye.